all right guys um welcome back to the channel so we're doing a very special and quick one in this very um video so still the same you know poe mini ups and this one is from the brand called ske right and i believe we've done a couple we've done a couple videos Okay, not really a couple. We've done one video where we covered a particular brand, Mass River, the KP2. Now, this is the SKE, right? So, there are actually multiple brands out there. So, we're just going to be seeing what we have on our SKE. So, let's get right into it. And um, we'll be going over here. All right, so we'll be doing um, the unboxing. How do I open this up? It's up here. Right, okay. so that's our box. Smart key energy SK. So in the box you also have you know the usual. This is for your router and this is for the power bank. Now the so they're actually the same thing. The major difference between this SKE and the Mass River, which we covered last is this SKE. I've never seen any of these UPS more than 8,800 milliamp in battery capacity. It's usually just this, but Mass River has a variety, and the base is the 10,000 milliamp. And um, this is just the setup of the SKE. This is what you have in the front. You have the power button in the front, um, 12 volts, 9 volts, 100% down to 25%, a USB type A to charge, and this kind of like air vent in front, side. Okay, nothing here. Then at the back, this is where um, the SKE try to seem as though it's you know a good get. So right here, there are lots of beautiful stuff it has here. This is your power input, of course, at the extreme right here. And here you have the selector. You have the selector. Okay, this is the output selector. 9 volts 12 volts and this is the LAN selector right this is the LAN selector the LAN selector is between 15 volts to 24 volts okay okay so that's just the uh, main difference you have two sets of selector here unlike other brands where you just have one which is you know sometimes 6 9 12 but well, this here has 12 and 9 volts this is the output this is this is a 5 volt output this is an output where you can make it either 9 or 12 volts so you would want to remember look at your router this router is usually 9 volts so we'll be using 9 volts or sometimes you can leave the 12 volts then for the LAN you know you can leave it at 24 volts or 15 volts whichever so this particular client you know he personally prefers SKE. Personally prefers SKE over um, the Mass River. So we had to get him the SKE. So most times it literally depends on your choice. Everything remains the same here. Everything remains the same here. And the beautiful thing is this is actually the second. The second we're getting for this client so he literally has one ske right in here that he uses so running through the connection you realize that 
It's basically the same thing. Let me first of all turn that off. It's basically the same thing we want to do. The thing we want to do is, you know, we put the white one. The white is for our router. And if you can see the router, it's blinking yellow. If you can see it. All right, one second. So you can see the router blinking yellow there. And um, so this is the old one. This is another. So it's usually just the same setup. The black goes to the POE. This is the POE here. So the black goes here. The LAN cable, the white goes here. So we're doing that. Black comes in here. White comes in here. Router goes in here and to the router there, and this comes here. Then we switch it on. So is that easy? And um, once we are done, that should. Begin turning green. And it's staying stable here. That simply means it's really, really about turning green. It's going to be turning green in a giphy. Come on. Turn green, bro. Turn green. Let's see what we done with that. So yeah, that's it. And um, thank you so much, guys, for you know, the recommendations. If you have any other particular video you'd like us to check out, um, just leave it for us um, in the comment section. Maybe you have or you know any particular brand, and we'll do well to check it out. All right. Bye.